and this guy is going to be focused on how to start Slayer in old school RuneScape. So the first requirement is to be a member, um, and the next requirement is to check out what your combat level is, because that's where it's going to depend on where you should start your your first Slayer task. Now, Slayer works as in each task you complete, you get points for completing them. So every hundred tasks, task, depending on what Slayer monster you have, you get extra points, and that's how you can invest in equipment and the and such uh, for example my slayer helm okay so let's get on how you start slayer if you are level three combat you're going to want to start at the birth road master and i will show you where all of the slayer master locations are so lo let's go ahead and get started with the wilderness slayer master it requires no requirements so that's definitely a be benefit um, however, Wilderness Slayer is very risky because other players can kill you. However, completing a Wilderness Slayer task will enable you to get more points each task you complete. So a lot of people like to do Slayer, um, Wilderness Slayer tasks because they get more points and also they can get emblems and emblems are worth good money or for Iron you can invest emblems and rune pouch and certain types of wilderness rewards but here is the slayer master for wilderness her name is Christilia, and you just get an assignment from her now let's now show you and there's no requirements so you can be level three however that's highly not recommended i suggest you at least be 60 to 80 combat before starting wilderness slayer and do Wilderness Slayer at your own risk and realize that you can be PK'd and lose all of your gear. In my, my point of view, I don't think it's worth doing. However, that is completely up to you. Next, I'm going to show you where you can start Slayer if you're level 3 combat and it's not Wilderness Slayer. If you're level 3 combat, you can go ahead and teleport to Birth Rope and you can use a Games Necklace Charged. You can rub it, teleport to Birth Rope, and you're going to be running west and then south. And this Slayer Master gives Slayer tasks for level 3 Slayer. And here is uh, the Slayer Master. His name is Turiel. Another great thing about him is let's say you are getting Slayer tasks from other Slayer Masters and you really don't have the points to cancel a task. You can cancel tasks by going to task and rewards and cancel or blocking a task. Let's say you don't have the reward points to cancel a task. You can always come back to the level 1 or level 3 Slayer Master in Birth Rope and he will give you a new task and you can cancel your other task. However, it will break your task streak. But anyway, this is the main place where people start Slayer um, and birth rope at Turiel. He, if you're level three, he'll give you monkeys and other assignments of the sort. So let's now show y'all the next Slayer Master, depending on your combat level. Slayer Master requires 20 combat, and, and in able to get to the Slayer Master, you need to complete the quest Priest in Peril. It's a novice quest, and it enables you to unlock the um, pretty much Mortania section of RuneScape. So if you go to Varrock and you run west, or I'm sorry, excuse me, east from Varrock and start the quest, uh, Priest in Peril, and you're going to be able to go to Mortania location, and this is Caniffs. But this requires level 20 combat, and he will provide you some Slayer task. And he is over here, his name is Machina, but he will also give you uh, an assignment based on your Slayer level and your combat level. Now, if you're level 20 combat, you can use him. Also, if you've completed the quest Priest in Peril. Now I'm gonna show you the next Slayer Master. Slayer Master requires 40 combat and is located in the Edgeville dungeon. There's two ways to access this. You can go down the trap door and follow where my character is running to get to him. He requires 40 combat to give you a Slayer task. And I believe he still requires only one Slayer to use. 
Yes, and um, he is located in this section. Be careful because there is a gate that leads to the wilderness down here in this dungeon, so be aware of that. There's two ways to get to him. You can run through the back of Edgeville, and he is right here. His name is Vanika. You probably are familiar with him because you saw him on Tutorial Island. Another way is to obtain a brass key, which you can find in the dungeon. And let's see, let's go to the surface. Okay, so at the surface, the other way to access the Edgeville Dungeon is to take a brass key southwest of the Grand Exchange and to uh, open this, cup, this door and go down into the dungeon, and you can find him down below also that direction. The Slayer Master is in Lost City, um, or excuse me, Zenaris, and the requirement for this boss or sorry excuse me slayer master is going to be 70 combat and also the lost city quest and the way you can get there is by going through fairy rings or access through the shed in lumbridge swamp if you've completed lost city you will have a draymond staff and you can access this location through the lumbridge swamp which i will show on my map you will need to complete Lost City and have a Slayer combat of, or excuse me, combat level 70. Just go into this little shed with a Draymond staff and it will take you to Zenaris. And um, you will walk to or run to the Slayer Master. Now, a lot of people really like Chelder, which is the name of this Slayer um, Master. And you'll be using her for quite a long time. But Lost City is definitely highly recommended because it's also required in order to have the Dragon Long Sword and the Dragon uh, Dagger. So you will definitely probably complete it by level 70. But here she is. Her name is Chelder, and you can get assignments, trade, and rewards just like the other Slayer Masters. The next Slayer Master that you can use if you have, you can also start. Uh, from these Slayer Masters that I've all shown you from level 1 Slayer. You don't need to have a high Slayer in order to use or get assignments from these Masters. Um, the last one I will show you will require 50 Slayer, but this one requires 1 Slayer and 80 Combat, I believe, and I will even double check this. You will have a or 85 Combat, and they are in Gnome Stronghold. I have a Master named Steve, however, if you have not completed the quest Monkey Madness 2, your Slayer Master here will be Neve and requires 85 combat to get an assignment from. This is actually a really important location because this Slayer Cave here has a lot of Slayer monsters that you may be assigned to and it's very convenient. Now to get to Gnome Stronghold, there's a couple of different ways. You can run northwest from Arduin or you can teleport from, uh, you can go from Barbarian Outpost to Gnome Stronghold. Um, there's many Arcanifit, or sorry, Catherby or Camelot and run west, but this is the location and it's quite a long walk, but it's definitely worth because most of the Slayer monsters that you will be assigned will likely be in this cave. The next Slayer Monster I'm going to show, or sorry, not Slayer Monster, Slayer Master I'm going to show you requires 100 combat, 50 Slayer, and the quest completed named Shiloh Village. Now you will know how to enter Shiloh Village if you have completed the quest. For this purpose, I'm just going to use a very quick shortcut to get there to save time. Um, I'm going to be using Karamja Gloves to the Gem Mine, um, which requires the hard diaries. But this Slayer Master gives the hardest level, um, or highest, hardest level Slayer monster slash combat requirement. 100 combat, um, the higher the Slayer, the better. Um, I wouldn't use him at 100 combat, perhaps 110, 105 combat would be a good medium. Um, and he does require 50 Slayer for you to be able to use him. And Shiloh Village is located um, on south of Karamja, north of the, the, the Legends Quest Jungle Karazari Dun or Jungle, I can't even pronounce that, guys. But Silo Village is south on Karamja, and you just would go south of Brimhaven. But it requires you to complete the quest to enter this village, and he's going to be upstairs up here, and his name is Duradel, and he is he also has the 99 Slayer Cape, which is pretty cool. Um, 
but if you're starting out Slayer, you're definitely not going to be using him for a while, most likely. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about rewards and everything like that. So let's go ahead and I already have an assignment, but you just click assignment in order to get to what you need. So let's go ahead and look at the rewards. Yeah, here you can extend and unlock new monsters or kind of like uh, accessories for Slayer. The big one is the the Slayer Mask, which is here, requires 400 points. This is what you're going to want to save up for first. You can also extend tasks that you like. For example, I've extended my Gargoyles task. You also want to unlock broader fletching if you can. Uh, ring Bling, this Slayer Ring allows you to teleport to a bunch of Slayer locations. Things like this are just very convenient. You can do a JAD task, and so I would really look into investing your points into things like this. So here we also have um, this the extending task. You can also buy materials here like the herb sack which is extremely useful. It shows you how many points you need. And here you can also block and cancel tasks which require points. So that's going to be my, my very start off Slayer Guide. If you like this video, go ahead and give a like and subscribe to my channel. Once again, my name is Kelsey and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And for my already subscribers, I apologize for not posting many RuneScape videos this week. Um, but my fiance has been in town and I will be back in the game. But, however, I did want to make this because Slayer is something people start later than sooner. So I thought this would be good for people who have not started the Slayer skill. Um, thanks for watching, guys.